What is the weather like? What is the weather like? What is the weather like today? What is the weather like? What is the weather like? What is the weather like today? Hi, Learn and Play friends. It's me, Miss Emily from the Learn and Play Montessori school team. If you haven't guessed it already, today we're taking a look at the weather. Not only will you need your looking eyes, but you will also need your looking ears. So let's put those on now. Ready to go. What is the weather? The weather is how we describe what is happening in the sky and in the air around us outside. We can have many different types of weather and we can experience them with our five senses. Do you know what your five senses are? Sight, hearing, smelling, tasting and touching. Fantastic! Sometimes the weather changes throughout the day. We can have a few types of weather all in one day and it really affects in our choice of what to wear for the day. Sometimes you might need your rain boots but sometimes you might need a sun hat. So come on, let's take a look at what kinds of weather we can get. We're gonna take a look through my magic window. Come with me. All right, let's take a look outside. Oh wow, it looks like a sunny day. The sky is clear and the sun is out. On a sunny day, it might feel quite warm. So we might choose to wear lighter clothes. Which of our senses do you think we can use to experience a sunny day? We can use sight, of course, because we can see the sun with our eyes. But we can also use touch, because if we put our hands out in the sun, we will feel the warm rays on our skin. Let's take another look outside the window and see what's happening with the weather. Oh, look at that. A few clouds have rolled in across the sky. This is called a partly cloudy day because part of the sky is taken up by clouds and the other part is taken up by the sun. I can experience a partly cloudy day with my eyes because I can see the clouds and I can see the sun too. Looking outside our window again, it looks like a few more clouds have rolled in across the sky and they are now covering the sun. This is called a cloudy day and it makes everything look a little bit darker and a little bit gray. A cloudy day can be experienced with our eyes because we can see the clouds covering up the sky. Oh, but what's that I feel? Something else is floating through the air on this cloudy day. It is the wind. We now have a cloudy day and a windy day. I can experience the wind with my sense of touch as I feel the wind rushing across my skin. Can we experience the wind with our eyes? Well, we can't really see the wind when it is blowing lightly, but we can see it moving through trees or plants and moving them along the way. But do you know what? Sometimes we can experience very strong winds. These kinds of winds might be called typhoons or tornadoes or hurricanes. They are very dangerous kinds of weather because they can destroy our homes. It is best to stay inside on a very windy day. 
Let's take another look outside my magic window. Take a look at that. Something is falling from the clouds. Could it be meatballs? No, of course not. It's rain. I can now see a rainy day. And do you know what? We can experience a rainy day with all five of our senses. We can see the rain falling down from the clouds. We can feel the rain landing on our skin. We can taste the rain if we stick our tongue out. Uh, we can hear the rain landing on top of things outside. And do you know what? Sometimes we can even smell the rain. I love the smell of a rainy day once I've gone outside. It makes the concrete and the grass just smell different. Do you know what I'm talking about? Next time you have a rainy day, step outside and have a sniff. Does it smell like a rainy day to you? Now rain can also become very heavy and it can start to turn into a storm. During a stormy day, we might see things like lightning and we might hear things like thunder. It is also best to stay inside on a stormy day. Now the weather's not always that scary. Sometimes when it has stopped raining, we can see beautiful colours in the sky. Can you think of something that has beautiful colours that might show in the sky? A rainbow, of course. Colours reflect through the water droplets in the air, making us see the colours red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. I do love seeing rainbows, don't you? All right, now back to my magic window. It looks like the rain has stopped, but actually I can't see anything. Hello, is anybody out there? Oh, it's a foggy day. A foggy day looks like the clouds are floating really close to the ground. I can experience a foggy day with my sight as I can't really see anything but the fog. Now, fog starts to happen when it starts to cool down. And when it gets even colder, something else starts to fall from the sky. Could it be meatballs this time? Definitely not. It is snow. On snowy days, it feels very cold outside. So we need to make sure that we wrap up before we go out. And kind of like a rainy day, I can experience a snowy day with all five of my senses. I can see the snow. I can feel the snow. I could taste the snow. Uh, I can sometimes hear the snow when it is falling very heavily. And I can also smell the snow. It smells quite frosty. So now it's your turn. Have a look outside your magic window. What kind of weather do you have today? All right, now it's time to put our listening ears to work. We are going to try to listen to some weather sounds and try to guess what kind of weather it could be. Let's turn them up and let's get listening. What kind of weather could this be? Did you guess it? It sounds like a rainy day. I can hear the pitter patter of the rain. Let's have another go. Listening ears on.
Oh wow, there is still some rain. But did you hear that? It sounded like a loud bang. <gasps> it could be thunder or lightning. That must mean it is a stormy day. Let's have another listen. Wow, it sounds very calm. I even heard a few birds chirping. What kind of day do you think this could be? A sunny day. That's right, it was a sunny day. Last one, let's have another go. of our weather sounds. Now, don't you forget to use your five senses the next time you go outside to experience the weather. See you next time, friends.